leguminous products. Legumes are a staple food group for a healthy vegan diet. Legumes are packed full of important nutrients for vegan as well as general health benefits. Since legumes are such a expensive option, uh, they are a great nutrition sample for anyone, not only vegan, but another um, consumer. While it's a great to know about the health benefits and nutrition contents of legumes, it's uh, quite, impor quite important for know how to add more into vegan diet. What are legumes? Legumes are the seed or fruit of a family of plants called Fabacaceae. Legumes grown in pots and these pots um, may or not may be eaten. It's depending on the type of legume. Uh, the terms legume refer to soybean, peanut, pea, lupin, and another. Uh, when we are referring to legumes, people often focus on um, soybean or, for example, lupin. The split peanuts. Uh, with falling into the category of legumes. They are often classified as a nuts due to their nutrient composition. Similarly, fresh pears and green beans are typically ground paid as a vegetable. Uh, when we uh, thinking about legumes, we have to remember that uh, they are high in protein, high fiber, starch, low fat, and also uh, they are a rich source of vitamins, minerals, as iron, folate, magnesium, zinc, and vitamins. We can observe here that different legumes have got different composition of these um, ground compound. Um, also with protein, fat, ash, we can observe different percentage composition of these uh, nutrients. In general, legumes are an excellent source of proteins for vegan, for vegan food. Specifically, they are a great sources of amino acid like uh, lysine. Lysine may be, uh, can be uh, challenging for a consumer enough of a vegan diet. Therefore, it's um, generally recommended to uh, consume a few severing per day on high lysine food. Legumes are a high lysine food. Additionally, consuming uh, legumes uh, as a vegan can help uh, meet intake needed for essential mineral, particularly um, iron and uh, zinc. For example, soybean and soy products are particularly helpful to include in vegan diet uh, as they often a great source of healthy fats. Tofu is also a great source of calcium and another. Uh, we can see here different uh, legumes and from these different legumes, we can have different leguminous products. Um, the interest uh, in the use of legumes is growing since consumer preference changing, changing not only in uh, diet, but also in lifestyle. Uh, variation and balance are becoming more in demand. The demographic of the population is changing. 
when we want to eat legumes, first of all, we have prepare seeds. Mm, and one of the most popular um, practice is uh, um, preparing se uh, legume seed. Uh, we will start, usually we start from drying them. Um, the moisture contents of legumes is reduced below 15% during drying and it takes about five weeks. Uh, dry legumes can be stored. And also very important is that dry legumes after they can be processed as ingredients to other products. For example, they can be meal for flour. Uh, one of the most important process uh, for preparing legumes seeds is bioprocessing. And one of the most important is germination germination or sprouting, we call them sometimes. Um, also soaking. Uh, germination also um, is a process of soaking the grain, normally in water or in moist conditions, until they start germinate, as we know as sprout. Um, about uh, sprouting, uh, this process uh, making increase uh, nutritional quality by increasing, for example, vitamin level, trace compounds of bioavailability, and mineral bioavailability, while uh, lowering anti-nutritional compounds like phytic acids, tannins, and another. One of the most important product and the mm, uh, most useful product is flour. Flour because of high dietary fiber, uh, low glycemic index, also is uh, good uh, uh, for using uh, in gluten-free formulation for products and also by use with other cereals and bakery products. Uh, we can prepare flour from different legumes in different ways. It means that when we have leguminous oil seeds like soybean and another, it's a little bit different process that from grain legumes like cowpeas. First of all, after drying here, next we are processing in two ways, or drying or wet, uh, um, or dry milling or wet milling. We processing uh, flour. These two types uh, of uh, milling uh, are very important because um, these two processes, um, when we want to compare them together, are totally different and we have to use them to different legumes seed. Uh, dry milling uh, typically use particle on particle contact to reduce material size. While the wet milling involves um, dispersing the material in a liquid and using solid, bringing elements to reduce size. Um, products can be broken down through the either uh, one of those processes. That um, wet milling, uh, which uh, Wells uh, discussed first, for example, 
tends to be a more intensive process than dry milling. So uh, wet milling, also known as wet greening, is a process through which particles uh, that are suspended in a liquid slurry, slurry they are uh, dispersed in that liquid of sharing the crushing. Uh, when, once um, the milling process is complete, uh, these particles are ready for use or can be dried and separated for incorporation into addition products. And wet milling is more complex than drying. Uh, and I think thanks to the addition of a liquid, uh, but uh, this process also has the power uh, to reduce a product into the finer um, particles. Um, this allows for the production of a great variety by byproducts and also can result in improved physical properties in a final product. By contrast, dry milling, um, utilizes no liquid elements and its most frequent frequency used for the particle size reduction of dry materials like powders and granules or the um, bulk materials. While um, dry milling is a less intensive process, which often makes it the first method considered. Wet milling is the best and the most offensive way to get preferred particle size. If extremely small, particles, it's our goal. Uh, products which we already have, like flour, they can use for basic gluten-free products as a component and uh, from different point of views. They obtained a dietary fiber modification vitamins, phenolic contents, and another can be used as pulse-based products as prebiotic potential. And also during process, uh, we observed reduction of antinutrients and allergens. Of course, from flour, we can produce different legume-based products. And here we've got some examples like legumes-based snacks, pasta, noodles, or tortilla. Uh, the very interesting products are extruded legume-based products. They've got different sizes, and structure and also colors. Here we've got steps of producing uh, extruded legume base products from raw material. It can be flour and some another food ingredients. After homogenization and greeting, mixing and blending, we've got extrusion, and in the end, cooling, drying, coating, and packing. Basic on this process, we've got different snacks, snacks very healthy snacks without, of course, um, oil. Legume-based snacks have got um, high protein, vitamin, minerals, fiber, and from this reason, also high energy. But from another point of view, they've got low 
fat, sugar, salt. And because of colorful of legume seeds, we don't need to put inside coloring and flowering agents. Legume-based snacks, as I said, they are healthy because they have high protein, and consumer, uh, in general, they need ready to eat uh, fast food. And here we have healthy uh, food ready to eat. Uh, <clears throat> very important is reduce uh, anti-nutrients of legumes because of using processing. One of the uh, most typical uh, legume-based snack is leblebi. And this is roasted chickpea. Um, this snack is traditional snack. It is produced in Turkey. The roasted chickpea product called leblebi. Uh, this uh, word name uh, that originated from Persia is uh, why it's mean wild dairy uh, consumed as a traditional snack food in Turkey. All through Blebi uh, originated uh, in Turkey, exact details of Blebi are not well known. Um, there are two different kinds of Blebi. Uh, the hulet leblebi and non the uh, hulet leblebi. Uh, the processing stage for all different kinds of leblebi uh, include cleaning and grading, soaking, tempering, uh, boiling, roasting roasting, and jehuling. Uh, at the end of the production process, the chickpea swell, soften, and uh, after roasting, become crispy. Uh, Leblebi is a healthy snack food due uh, to its uh, nutritional contents. Chickpea is also processing and different way, not only for this snack. And we op can observe here different process, like physical treatment, milling, uh, then soaking, biochemical, um, germination or fermentation and another. This different process made different products. And here we've got bakery products like uh, free gluten bread when we use uh, chickpea and also biscuits and another bakery products. Extruded products like snacks, pasta, snacks ready to eat. Uh, also um, from uh, chickpea, we've got, after boiling or cooking, we've got aquafaba. It's a kind of water from cooking or boiling chickpea. This is very important because uh, we can use them for uh, preparing this kind of food. We can use them and apply it as egg Replacement in cakes, cheese, yes, chocolate mousse, mayonnaise, and another vegan food. Also, from chickpea, we've got plant based beverages, like fermented chickpea beverages. Here we've got formula how to prepare. Uh, 
infant formula, the utilization of whole chickpea grain for the production of infant formula has already been investigated. And we've got here some steps of preparing this. Also, different process, including roasting and another steps, also flour, flour preparing from roasted chickpea is innovation here. We've got set to drink. Also fermented chickpea beverage. Satu. Peanuts are another important legumes. As we know, uh, they got more or less 50% of oil and almost 30% of protein. We can use them not only as a, a, a fresh a snack, but also uh, for preparing uh, some products. From oil, we can prepare margarine and another things. Also from cake, we can prepare, for example, feed for livestock, very high protein feed. Peanut oil. We uh, processed peanut oil from hydraulic processing first steps. Uh, this is first steps of uh, oil extraction process. And after uh, we've got 100% of fat with some trace minerals and also we can detect it macromolecules. Peanut butter. I think everybody on the whole world know peanut butter. And this is a kind of mousse from uh, peanut. And uh, also sometimes we observe components which uh, peanut uh, butter includes, like piece of peanuts also. Other peanuts products used as uh, components uh, include peanut flour, peanut granules, peanut meal, peanut paste, and peanut protein. Peanuts also can be roasted and used as snacks. Soybean is the next um, legume, which is very important. And oh, it's also oil seed and contain more or less from 13 to 25% of oil and around 50% of protein. Mean that we've got here high protein uh, uh, in this small seed, the higher protein than in beef. From soybean, we can prepare a lot of products, which from year to year, more consumer know this. I think one of the most popular in the last time is soy milk, one of the uh, plant milk, which we can buy in the shop. After coagulation, we've got tofu, and I think it's also known, but after greeting, we have byproducts like okara and tofu whey, which are also used in food production. For example, tofu whey, we can make um, fermentation and soy alcoholic beverage. When we speak about um, soybean, um, we can have unfermented and fermented food. Uh, unfermented, it means fresh soybean, whole dry soybean, soy nuts, whole soybean meal, soy milk, and another, tofu, okara. 
from fermented food. We've got tempeh, miso, and another products. Processing of soybean, it's starting from boiling. It's very important. And after we've got different way, dry, dry milling, wet milling, filtration, and different products, flour, and another. Soy sauce, everybody knows, I, I think it's traditional made by the fermenting soybean in bream, soy milk, as I already said, and tofu also, I think everybody knows. Okara, it's something new. Uh, it's, um, Okara is known in Japan, Korean, and Chinese, and is byproducts of soybean processing. For each kilogram of soybean used for produce soy milk or tofu, we've got 1.1, 1.2 kilogram soybean byproducts of soybean processing. Soy flour is also uh, preparing for using as a variety of bread, pasta, baked goods, and breakfast foods, foods and another. Also, we use textured vegetables, proteins, and especially from soybean. Lecithin is very important, and we use them from lipid extract from soybean. And soybean oil, it's not very popular in Europe, but in other countries, of course, for cooking, for salad, for margarine processing. When we speak about legumes, we've got here some reference which we use for preparing this presentation. We have to know that this kind of source are very rich and useful during vegan diet and during vegan products processing. 